Today I'm going to show you how I go about assembling a one minute cinematic wedding teaser trailer. Um, this is something that I offer to my wedding video clients that um, do a higher tier package that I offer. Um, so today I'm just going to kind of go over some of the things that I do when assembling one, um, one of these videos. So um, without further ado, let's get right into it and we'll just take a look at how I put this together. So before I even shoot a wedding, I always like to choose the music before I actually go and shoot the wedding. It gives me a lot of inspiration on like the shots I'm going to get. It gives me a feel for like what the vibe of the video is going to be. And it just helps out with me as far as like the overall assembly of a wedding video or a teaser trailer in this case. So I like to choose the music beforehand. You see I have my music track here. And so I always start by overlaying my music track on here. And then I just like to make it a balanced background. Um, I use the balanced background music as far as the effect that I put on it because I do like to overlay audio um, of the day over, over top of that. So I don't like the music to be too overwhelming, so that's why I use that balanced background music um, preset on the audio track. So um, if we go over here to assembly, this is kind of how I just assembled this video. It's pretty straightforward. These I, I knocked these out pretty quick just because I like to send them the week after the wedding to the wedding couples just so they can get a feel of how their actual wedding video is going to look like and they get a little uh, sneak peek of, of some of the footage that I shot. So that being said, I like to include <clears throat> some of the best shots or some of my favorite shots throughout the day in the teaser trailer. So to start out the video here, I just have I just uh, created a new black video like this. Um, and all I did with this is create two keyframes, um, two opacity keyframes, and then I just um, auto bezier them. Um, so <clears throat> you get this nice opening shot effect. And I like to use um, couple shots for the intros of my videos. I'm not a huge fan of like opening drone shots in my videos, just because it's every other videographer seems to do it and I think this just gives it a different feel right off the bat when you open up you're like okay this is a wedding video so <clears throat> I like to open it up with some slow-mo shots these two opening shots here I shot at 60 frames a second so I could slow them down 50% um, so I use these two opening slow motion shots with their couple shoot and then as far as the audio goes in this I have um, audio of the bride and the groom reading um, notes they'd written to each other. I have that audio overlaid here in the video. So I have that kind of playing um, throughout this teaser trailer, at least the first half of it. Um, so I specifically, once we get past, I'll let this play through. Um, this cuts with the music. And then this audio that she's reading in her note here corresponds with she's talking about her son. So. That's how I chose to use um, these next two shots here, are her and her son um, just ha having a good time um, being together. And so when she's reading this audio about her son, she's getting emotional. And that overlaid with these shots of her and her son, I think really helped bring out the emotion in the video. So that's how I went about um, choosing those two shots. And those again are shot in 60 frames a second, um, and I slowed them down 50%. So. Um, she's reading the audio about her and her son, and then I go into one more kind of closing or just kind of ending this first sequence here um, of one more slow motion shot that we took of them. And so this audio is playing in real time, so I thought it would be a, um, kind of clever and it would be a good way to show that she's actually reading this, to actually have the video of her reading this while she's getting emotional. She's crying while she's reading it, she's smiling, she's laughing, she's showing emotion, and I think the more emotion you can find in the video that you shoot just makes the video that much better. So I have it cut to her actually reading this note. She's smiling, she's laughing, and that kind of ends this audio down here of her reading her note. The next shot I go on to is a shot at 24 frames a second of her doing her first look with her bridesmaids. I don't like to show the first look with the groom in the teaser trailer just because I want to save a little bit of mystery for the video. Um, and I have multiple camera angles of the first look with the bride and groom, which just makes it that much more immersive. So I like to include just if they do a first look with the bridesmaids, I like to include that. And then so it goes from the 24 frames a second, um, they're screaming, they're happy, to kind of the emotion that they see while 
um, they're actually looking at her um, kind of an over the shoulder shot here. And given this is a 30 second cinematic teaser trailer, we're, a, we're at the about 40 second mark right here. I wanted to get kind of towards more of the end of the day without showing, I don't like to show a ton of the ceremony. So I cut to their first dance and it's kind of a mysterious, uh, you know, you see their feet, you know, they're dancing. Um, I like to show that it cuts to an upper um, shoulder third shot of them dancing. Um, and then after this shot, I have it cut to um, a shot of the reception dance once they had, they had some live music. And I like this shot because there's a lot of foreground, there's a lot of um, blurriness in the foreground, which I really liked. And then it cuts to them dancing. And then after this, I kind of have another foreground shot of the guitar head here. You had, you know, you see you have people dancing background, they had the string lights, which I thought was really nice. And I thought this was a good way to kind of send it off and to kind of, you know, leave them hanging. It's almost a cliffhanger. So, and then that's how it ends out at one minute and one second. So, as far as the effects that I like to put on these, um, I color grade all these individually um, to start. And then after that, I add an adjustment layer on top of all my footage. And I have a corrective LUT that I've built um, that I like to use on my footage that I shoot out of a Canon. All this footage here is shot out of a Canon R6, so mirrorless you get that really, really crisp, clean um, feel to the video. So I overlay this LUT, I color grade these um, clips, and then for the cinematic feel of this teaser trailer, I added another adjustment layer and I added a crop effect to it. Um, I just did 10% on top, 10% on bottom. And it just kind of narrows the screen a little bit and it helps, I feel, um, me be able to adjust my clips in the sequence to more visually bring the eyes to what the subject is. And it gives it more of that cinematic feel. So I add an adjustment layer on top of all of this footage and then I added the crop effect on top of that. So, um, as far as the audio goes um, in this, like I said, the balanced background music for these clips, for the actual clips of her reading her note, um, I recorded all the audio throughout the day on like on camera mics and then I had um, Zoom H1Ns throughout the day on me so I could use them to lock, either lock the bride or the groom up or I could st set them somewhere strategically where I could get the cleanest audio possible. So that's how these audio clips here were recorded. Um, so all I did for these audio clips of her reading her note is I just added a, pre, um, a preset of balanced female voice to clean it up a little bit. And I added a denoise um, effect onto it also. And I just adjust the parameters a little bit to get the sound that I was looking for out of it. So I kind of wanted it to match up how so when it cut to this shot here, it was like, it sounds like you're actually, you know, standing there, sitting there next to her while she's reading this note. So, and then as far as this clip of the first look, I just used the, um, the offboard camera mic that I had, a road mic on my camera. Um, I just used that and then I had a, a make distant preset onto it because you can see these, they're pretty far away and I wanted it to sound like they were actually in the distance there while they were, um, screaming and laughing and just happy while she was um, turning around for their first look. So that's kind of how I go about assembling one of these cinematic teaser trailers um, for wedding videos. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just feel free to leave them below. If you like this video, if it helped you out, give it a thumbs up um, and then give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I'll be making more of these videos in the future too. So. Um, if you subscribe um, and you are into making wedding, wedding videos, um, I'll just be posting um, a lot of behind the scenes clips of how I go about editing my wedding videos. So I will uh, play this full teaser tra trailer for you now and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. Today we officially become a family and that means more to me than I could ever put into words. The fact that you have blessed me not only with yourself, but also Makai. There's something words can't explain. I hope there isn't a day that goes by that he doesn't look at us and see how much I love you. 
today, tomorrow, and forever. You will have me by your side. I love you, Brooklyn Dealer. Queen. <laughs>